Exhale, fold. Again, inhale, look forward, flat back, lengthening the spine, sending the heart forward, drawing the shoulder blades down the back body. Exhale, fold, release. Last time, inhale, look forward, flat back. Exhale, step back to plank pose. Fingertips spread wide. Shoulders stacking over wrists, thumbs sealed down to the earth. Push back, downward facing dog, hips back. And from here, begin to pedal it out. Bend one knee, bend another. Again, warm up the body. Creating all of that length through the abdomen, through the back. Not worrying about the heels dropping down onto the earth. The heels will come when the hamstrings open. Big inhale, roll back into plank pose. Notice how Gianna allows it to roll up her spine and then terminate right at the shoulder blades. Tip the weight forward a little bit more. Now lower the knees, lower the chest. Lower the chin, keep the toes tucked. We want the stretch through the Achilles. Stay here, not moving into Cobra. Lift the legs, push through the hands, come back into plank pose, draw up, excellent. Push back, downward facing. Good. Big breath in through the nose, out through the nose. Again, roll forward, back into plank pose. Let it reverberate up the spine, tipping the weight forward. Fingertips spread wide, lower the knees, lower the chest. Lower the chin, keep those toes tucked. I want the stretch through the Achilles as you energize the heels back, working all 10 toes onto the mat. Lift the legs, press through the hands, come back up to leg pose, excellent. Drawing the belly in, push back, downward facing. Work the feet to touch at the back of your mat. And then walk the hands back to your feet. Hips drawing towards the wall behind you. Move into chair pose. Sink the seat. Sweep the fingertips. Scoop the heart. Pour the weight back. Utkatasana. Arms reaching up above the head. Draw the belly in. Knit the ribs in tightly. Tip the top of the pelvis up. And now allow the breath to flow freely. Keep those feet touching. No separation between the feet. Good, Jules, right there, excellent. Sink back a little bit more. Go back, further back, more back. Forward fold, release. Walk the hands back into your downward facing dog, coming back onto the mat. Open up the feet, hips width distance, reach the right heel up towards the sky. Toes to the mat, heel kicks towards the back wall, spin the inner thigh up towards the ceiling. And now rotate the toes towards the right side of the room. Find that external rotation, then pull the kneecap up, drop the right foot over the left side of the body, Ekapada Adho Mukha Svanasana. I want you to keep that right foot flexed and engaged. Imagine I'm coming up to you, hooking my arm behind your knee and pulling you back. Creating all of that space through the whole front of that right back. Now roll forward, bring knee to nose, hollow out the belly. Tip the weight forward, tuck into the chin, tuck into the chin. Send it back out, stack hip on top of it, bend into the knee, pull the kneecap up, bring the right foot to the inside of the right hand, find low lunge. Slide the ribs up the thigh. So keep that back leg strong, good. Now take the right hand up and over, send it towards the back of the room, aiming to touch your left hamstring. Now sweep it up and back, dropping it to frame out the right foot. Again, take that right arm up and over, opening up the chest. Lower it back down. Last time, sweep it up and over. Reaching the fingertips towards that back left heel behind you. Lower it back down. Little baby hop, bring the left foot to meet the right top of the mat, back into chair pose. Sink the seat, sweep the fingertips, scoop the heart, pour the weight back. Hold the inner thigh. So now if you wanna to begin to sweat, make sure the breath is strong in through the nose. Out through the nose. If I were to unmute you, it would sound like I was at the beach as the waves were crashing onto the, onto the ocean, onto the beach. Forward fold, release. Inhale, look forward, flat back. Exhale, step back to plank pose yet again. Lower the knees, lower the chest. Keep the belly in, keep those elbows tight, lift the legs, press through the hands, come back into plank pose, push back, downward facing. Left heel reaches up towards the sky. Toes to the mat, heel kicks towards the back wall. Keep the hip nice and square. Good. Now rotate your left toes towards the left side of your room. Pull that kneecap up towards the side. Lifting that kneecap up, moving now into three-legged dog. Keep that left foot in active flexion. Beautiful. Imagine you're trying to touch your left sole of foot onto the right side of your room, onto the wall to the right side of you. 
Bring knee to nose, hollow out the belly. <laughs> Send it back out. Stack hip on top of hip, bend into the knee. Roll that left hip up towards the sky, Ekapada Auto. Now bring the left foot to the inside of the left hand, find low lunge. Slide the ribs up the thigh. The right hand is on the earth. Now take that left hand up and over past the ear, pointing it towards the back of the mat. Keep that back leg strong. Focusing on pushing into big and pinky toe, lifting through inner thigh. Sweep that left hand up and over back onto the earth. Again, taking it, sweep that left hand back up and over. Allowing there to be the rotation, draw the belly in, good. Drop the left hand back down to the earth. The right fingertips are light on the mat. Don't get heavy through that hand. Left hand up and over, last time. Drop that left hand down to the earth. Little baby hop, bring the right foot to meet the left top of the mat. Forward fold, release. Back into chair, sink the seat, sweep the fingertips, scoop the heart, pour the weight back. Hands slide through heart center, moving now into revolved chair pose. Left elbow outside of the right knee. Now, if you're not warm enough, you can always bring your left hand outside of the knee, right hand to hip point. Draw the weight back. Lengthen the crown. Make sure those knees are square so that left hip pulls back, the right knee pulls forward, and then lengthen through the whole left side of the body. Come back up through center. Reach the hands up. Now take it to the opposite side. Fingertips slide through heart. Find all of the length through the spine. Drop the right elbow outside of the left knee. Way back. Back into the heels. Toes are light and soft on the mat. Don't forget to breathe in through the nose. Out through the nose. Detoxing the entire midline of the body. Creating heat. Can you find a little more rotation? Using the pressure between the palms to pivot and roll the ribs. Come back up through center. Forward fold, release all the way down. Inhale, look forward, flat back. If you have a hop, a step, a float, take it. If not, step back to plank. Take any vinyasa that costs you. Nice, Raquel, beautiful. Slide through. Exhale, push back. Right heel, again, reaches up towards the sky. Toes to the mat, heel kicks towards the back wall. Now rotate the right toes, find that three-legged dog, pulling the kneecap up towards the ceiling, dropping the right foot over the left side of the body. Lift that kneecap up a little bit more, bring knee to nose, hollow out the belly, roll forward. Imagine you're trying to flip into your handstand. Those back toes are light, you're energizing right through the ball mound of the foot as you're tipping the weight forward a little bit more. Now plant that left, right foot inside of the right hand, low lunge. Sweep the right hand up and back, finding the heel behind you, opening up the chest. Now dropping the right hand to the right hip, walk the left fingertips. In front of those right toes, Parvrita Ardha Chandrasana, tip the weight forward. Watching your head. <laughs> Keeping the body in one beautiful long line. Make sure the hips are square. If you joined us the other day, I said if you could put a water bottle and balance it on your hip structure, you are in a good position. Reach the right hand up towards the sky. If you have it, continuing that twist. Now I want you to sweep the right hand down, forward all the way around, sweeping it towards the front of your mat. There we go. Now begin to pull the left knee into the chest. Come all the way up to stand, standing head to knee. Stacking shoulder over hip. Flex those left toes. Both hands reach up towards the sky. Good, good. Yeah, I want to engage the psoas before we move into that. Now dropping the right hand outside of that left shin. Begin to send the left hand towards the back edge of your mat, opening up through the chest a little bit more, finding this standing balance twist. Through the crown, shoulder away from the ear. This beautiful balance of work and ease. And remember, if you fall out of the balance, guess what? Come right back in. Sweep the left hand down, all the way around, catching the right hand at the top. Send the left leg back behind you, coming back into high lunge. And sweep up towards the sky. Palms press at the top, gaze up, look up. Now moving into charging, parallel the belly against the thigh beneath you as the gaze is onto the front tip of your mat. Biceps in line with the ears. 
Make sure that right knee is stacked over the right ankle. Good, Carmela. Excellent. No bend into the elbows. Sink a little bit deeper. Jill, parallel the belly a little bit more. Good. Frame out that left foot, step back to plank. Take your right foot, step back to plank. Take your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Slide through. Exhale, hips up and back. Left heel reaches up towards the sky. Toes to the mat, heel kicks towards the back wall. Find now the three-legged dog, stacking hip on top of hip. Bend into the knee, pull the kneecap up towards the ceiling. Lift that kneecap up, bring knee to nose, roll forward, make connection. Tip forward, tuck into the chin forward. A little bit more forward. Left foot drops inside of that left hand. Low lunge. As soon as you're there, right hand to the earth, sweep the left arm up and back, working those fingertips towards the heel behind you. So when you want to find that rotation, you want to honor the shoulder. So you're going to sweep down, forward, all the way around to really find that full range of motion. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. Opening up the chest. Beautiful. Now dropping the left hand to the left hip point. So right where the femur ties into the hips, walk the right hand forward in front of those left toes, tip the weight forward, lift up and out of that left hip. Keep the right toes flexed and pointing down towards the ground. Spin the chest, roll that left shoulder up towards the ceiling. Again, the hips are square. Imagining that you're able to balance a water bottle onto the hip point, and a little more. And if you're able, maybe reaching that left hand up towards the sky without collapsing into the left side of the ribs. Good. Now sweeping that left hand down, forward, and past the ear towards the front of the room. There we go. Pull the right knee into the chest. Come all the way up to stand. Flex those right toes. Good. Good. Avoiding the temptation to grab onto that foot. I want you to use the strength through the core to lift that knee up a little bit more. Lift that knee up a little bit higher. At least a little bit more. Good. Perfect. Now drop the left hand outside of that right shin. Reach the right hand back behind you. Open up the chest. Open up the chest. <laughs> Sometimes the balance can be a little bit tricky. Send the right hand down, forward, all the way up. Catching the left hand, send the right leg back behind you, high lunge. Land softly. Chest up, further up, belly in. Frame out that left foot, step back to plank. Take your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Slide through. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing, in through the nose, out through the nose. Collect the breath if you've lost it, now is your chance to find it, in through the nose, out through the nose. Right heel reaches up towards the sky. Stack hip on top of hip, bend into the knee, pull that kneecap up towards the ceiling, lift that kneecap up, bring knee to nose, hollow out the belly, roll forward, Make connection. Drop the right foot inside of that right hand. Left right hand reaches up and over, finding the rotation, pointing those fingertips towards the back left heel. Fine twist. A little more. Right hand drops to the right hip. Walk those left fingertips forward. Second set of Ardishan drops and a tip forward. Lift up and out of that right hip. Finding a little more. A little more rotation. Come back into low lunge twist, landing softly onto those right toes, left hand on the earth, and now shoot the right hand back up towards the sky if it's not there already. Plant the left hand down to the earth, and now we're moving into side plank. Rolling onto the outer edge of that left foot. If you need to, drop the knee for support. Good. Stacking right foot on top of left. Making sure your left elbow pit is rolling towards the front of your mat. So yeah, there we go. Spin a little bit more. Protect the shoulder. Do not break the body for this pose. Instead, drop the knee. Lift the hip up a little bit more. Gaze up towards those right fingertips. You'll find the lightness as you pull the thighs in tightly towards one another. Lower to plank. Take your vinyasa. <laughs> Slide through. Push back. Left heel reaches up towards the sky. Confidence. 
Back hip on top of hip, bend into the knee, pull the kneecap up towards the ceiling. And now bring knee to nose, hollow out the belly, roll forward, make connection. Shoot it back out. Stack hip on top of hip, bend into the knee, pull that kneecap up towards the sky. Plant the left foot inside of the left hand, find low lunge. Right hand light on the earth, left hand up and over, opening up the chest towards the left side of the room, making sure not to dip into the right hip. Good. Left hand catches onto that left hip. Walk the right fingertips in front of those right toes, tip the weight forward, lift up. Flex the right foot, spin the inner thigh, rotate the left shoulder up towards the ceiling. Spin the belly. One more breath, in through the nose, out through the nose. Now landing back into low lunge, soft as a mouse onto those right toes, slide the right hand back, reach the left hand up towards the sky, and now moving into side plank on the right side. Remember, you can always drop the bottom knee down to the earth as you roll onto the outer edge of that right foot. Reach the right hand up towards the ceiling. Good. Gaze up, chest up, further up. Spin your right elbow pit towards the front of your mat. One more breath. Lower into plank, take your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Slide through. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog, in through the nose, out through the nose. Softening the knees, hop, step, or float to the front of the mat. Good, landing lightly. Back into chair pose, sink the seat, sweep the fingertips, scoop the heart, pour the weight back. Zip the belly in, hand slide through heart center. Drop the right elbow outside of the left knee, find rotation. <laughs> so that's the right elbow. Oh yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Drop the right elbow outside of the left knee. Now, if you have side crow, you're more than welcome to take side crow. In order to take side crow, you're gonna drop the hands towards the left side of your mat. Drop the hips down. Gaze towards and down the tip of your nose. Tip the weight forward, creating that tabletop with the back of the arms. If you're not taking side crow, guess where you're staying? Chair pose twist. Good, excellent, Holly. Holly, chin down, parallel to chest a little bit more. So down towards chest, not down towards earth. Never mind, puppy wants you so badly. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Sink down a little bit more. If you're inside, crow, lower back onto the earth, come back into chair. Everyone join in chair pose. Excellent, Abby. Reach the hands up, sink the seat back. Hands slide through heart center. Let's take it into the opposite side. Left elbow now outside of the right knee. Sink the weight back a little bit more. Now you're either staying here to make this pose accessible. The lower you drop the hips, the more the hips will support the pose instead of the knees. If you have side crow, take it. Good. Sink the hips down a little bit more. Good. Keep those feet flexed. Yeah, there we go. It's until you extend. That's going to bring you into the pose. Come back onto the floor, onto the mat, back into chair pose. And then we're going to move slowly onto our seat. So open up the knees as you lower, 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 weight back into the heels, right into boat pose. Pull the knees in tightly to the chest. Good. Keep the hands the calves parallel to the earth. So Gianna chooses to point her toes. You can flex the feet if you wish, find the variation that calls to you. Lift the chest up a little bit more. Now reach the arms up above the head, biceps in line with the ears, we're moving into low boat. Slowly, without the shoulder blades, collapsing onto the floor, extend the legs, lower the back body. Hold here, keep the neck long. Good. Come back into high boat. Pull back up. Hold tight. Good. Low boat. High boat. Low boat. High boat. Low boat. High boat. Cross the ankles. Tip the weight back. Roll forward. Find your hop step or float back to your vinyasa. 
and then push back, downward facing. Beautiful, in through the nose, out through the nose. Right heel reaches up towards the sky. Oops, sorry. Stack hip on top of it, bend into the knee. Pull the kneecap up towards the ceiling, finding that three-legged dog. We'll open up the front body, if you wish, flipping the dog, landing softly as a mouse. Again, that right foot is flexed and engaged, so as to anticipate the land. Lift the chest up. Make sure the heels are in, the toes are, excuse me, toes are in, the heels are out to keep a nice open back body. Flip back over. Bring the right foot to the nose, right, right knee to the nose, hollow out the belly. Drop the right foot inside of the right hand, find low lunge. Sweep that right hand up and over towards the left heel behind you again, finding that twisting spin the chest. So your right foot is a little bit in too far towards your midline. Yes, there we go, good. Sweep the right hand down, forward all the way around. Little baby hop, now pull left knee into the chest, right hand, left hand meeting the right. Come all the way up to stand. Flex the toes, I need it bigger. <laughs> right hand drops outside of that left shin. Sweep the left hand towards the back of the room. Finding the twist, opening up the chest. Now here's an opportunity, if you own it, you're more than welcome to slide that right hand down the outer edge of that left foot. And if you have it, you're more than welcome to kick, to find one gaze on moving. There we go. Anchor that left hip down if you are kicking. If not, still anchor the hip down. Chest open. One more breath. Rebending into that knee if you've extended. Sweep both hands up towards the sky, come back into high lunge, land soft as a mouse onto the ball of that back foot. And now find warrior two, G, if you wanna move up so that you're not off of your mat. Good. Fingertips reaching in opposite directions. So you want that 90 degree angle at the right knee joint. Sink a little bit deeper, squeeze the inner thighs tightly, relax the shoulders away from the ears. Chest is broad. Imagine someone's coming up to you, grabbing you by each wrist and pulling you into two opposite directions so that the whole chest cavity extends. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Big inhale, arms above the head, straighten the front leg, pivot the toes, moving into a wide-legged forward fold. Arms open up again to T, chest up, palms flip, and now begin to swan dive all the way down. Once you're halfway there, let the head go. You can let the hands drop down to the earth. Take a deep breath. So there are many variations that you can come with, come into with this pose. Just let the head go. Roll the seat up. You can walk the hands forward. What I want you to focus on is that nice flat back. So can you space and lengthen out the belly? Tara, that's perfect, just like that. Now push the hips back just a smidge. Yep, there you go, good. Julianne, can you turn the heels out a little bit more? I'd shorten the stance a tiny, tiny bit and turn the toes in and then heels out, there we go. So that you get that spin through the inner thigh. One more breath. Walk the hands back. Press through the feet, come all the way back up to stand. <clears throat> Keep the distance, yeah. Pivot on those right toes. Coming back into high lunge, roll onto the ball of the back foot, hand slide through heart center, drop the left elbow now outside of the right knee, deepening yet further into the twist. Lift the chest up a little bit more. Spin that right shoulder back a little bit more. One more breath. Come back through center. Frame out the right foot. Step back to plank. Take your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Slide through. Exhale, and back, downward facing. In through the nose. 
up through the nose. Left heel reaches up towards the sky. Stack hip on top of it, bend into the knee, pull that kneecap up towards the ceiling. Again, opening up the front body from all of the twisting and all of the core work. If you have it, landing softly into your flip dog. So keep that left foot engaged and flex so that when you land, you land with confidence. The chest rises up a little bit more. Can you feel that expansion through the belly? One more breath. Flip back over, pivoting over those right toes and then pull the left foot to the inside of the left hand, come into low lunge. Right hand to the earth, left hand sweeps up and back towards that back heel. Take that left hand down, forward all the way around, come back up, press through the left toes, right hand meets the left, moving into standing head to knee, pull the right knee into the chest. Come all the way up, go ahead, perfect. Flex those right toes. Drop the left hand outside of that right knee. Right hand reaches towards the back of the room. Good. Now, if you have the deeper variation, you're more than welcome to begin to slide that left hand down the outer edge of the shin, catching onto the outer edge of the foot. And then beginning to extend and kick. One side might be more accessible than another, not forcing yourself into anything that induces pain. Raquel, all I see is a standing leg and it looks great. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Come back through center, rebending into the knee. If you had extended, sweep the hands up towards the sky, send the right leg back behind you into high lunge, land softly, and from high lunge, move into warrior two. Fingertips reach in opposite direction. Again, the shoulders release away from the ears. We have a tendency to collapse and dip into, let's get the light in here, into that left hip point. So making sure to energize up and out of the right hip and lifting up and out of the left. To draw the belly in, sink a little bit deeper. Big inhale, sweep the hands up towards the sky, straighten the front leg, pivot the toes, palms flip up towards the ceiling, chest up, exhale, fold, release, all the way down. Let the head go. Again, you have the option if you'd like to walk the hands forward, if you'd like to walk the hands out to the sides, if you'd like to find a bind and really pull into pose. If you have a pike, you're more than welcome to enter into a pike. Just being mindful of everything that's around you. Good G. Don't forget to breathe in through the nose. Out through the nose. Push down into the elbows. There it is. You see the stable? Pike, come back down onto the earth. Lower down, slowly, feet flex, yes. Everyone, press through the feet, sweep the arms out to the sides, come all the way back up. Rotate those left toes towards the front of your mat, roll onto the ball of the back foot, hands draw through heart center, find the twist, right elbow outside of the left knee, and rotate. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Rotate a little bit more. Rotate a little bit more. Back leg strong. So the back leg is energizing so that you can lengthen through the whole right side of the body. And then once you lengthen through the whole right side of the body, it's a matter of spinning the ribs around the thoracic. Come back to your center. Frame out that left foot. Step back to plank. Take your vinyasa. Knees, chest, chin, or chapter under. Slide through. Exhale, push back, downward facing, in through the nose, out through the nose. Drop the knees to child's pose. Again, giving yourself a little moment here to recalibrate. Third eye to the mat. Open up the knees as much as you need to so that the belly falls between the thighs. Walk the hands forward. Walk the hands forward.
Palms press down onto the earth. Begin to slide the nose and the chest along the mat. Moving into cobra pose. Legs extend behind you. Barely any weight in the hands. So ideally, I would like Gianna to be at a 90 degree angle with the arms so that the shoulder heads roll onto the back body and the shoulder blades pinch towards one another. See that knife? Hold the elbows in tightly. Now the thumbs down towards the earth. Slide the toes back. Imagine I'm in the room, pushing down onto your ankles as you're sending the heart forward. Slide the toes back a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Now with keeping those feet attached to the earth, begin to reach the hands forward, lift the chest up higher. So you're gonna have an issue there, so send the hands back, yeah. Lift the chest higher, lift the chest higher. Now Gianna has the hands reaching back, mainly because there is furniture in front of her, so your variation. Lower all the way down. So I'm gonna have to have you move back a little bit. Opening up into the hips a little bit further. Reach the right hand forward. We're moving into Vishnu's couch. So right arm on the earth. Now bend at the elbow and grab onto the outer edge of your right ear. So bend the right arm. And now begin to roll onto the right side of the body. You can bend both knees if you need to in order to keep the hips stacked. Making sure that the body is in one long line, so draw the belly in, good, find that stacking. If you'd like to deepen the pose, extend the legs out, flex the feet. Now begin to bend into the left knee, catch an inside grip on the left knee with the left hand. Begin to press back, so you're using it as a kickstand to hold onto your ear. There we go. Good. <laughs> there you go. So now you're going to have the challenge of finding the balance here onto your hip point. Grabbing onto the inner knee. Good. Push down here. That's it. Keep that right leg grounded. If you have it, maybe finding an inside grip on the left foot to begin to kick the left foot out. You might not have it. That's fine. One more breath. <laughs> Good. Gently release back down onto the mat. Re-extending the right hand. Lowering the belly onto the earth. Letting the hips relax. Now reach the left hand forward. Rolling onto the left side of the body. Bend into the left arm. Catch the side of the head to create a kickstand for the head. Your one long line on the mat. Now you can stay right here playing with the balance here or begin to bend that right knee up towards the ceiling, catch an inside grip on that right knee, pressing the hips forward. Now if you'd like to, maybe catching an inside grip on the foot to find the extension. Maintaining that balance. Good. Opening up through the inner hip. Keep that left leg engaged onto the mat. And sometimes you tip forward. One more breath. Lower back down onto the ear. Slide the hands back. Find again cobra pose. Chest lifts up. Tops of feet flipping to the mat. Now reach the hands forward. Lift the legs up. Full locust pose. Bend at the knees, catch an outside grip on the feet, finding Dhanurasana, Urdhva Dhanurasana. Separating through the feet while drawing the knees in towards one another to open up the back. Lift the chest up a little bit more. Draw up a little bit higher. Keep the back of the neck long. Kick up, further up, more up, higher up. Work those toes up and over your head. Maybe one day bringing the toes to your head. Point the toes more, Sam. A little bit more. A little bit more. And release. Lower down. Beautiful. Push back again into child pose. In through the nose. Up through the nose. Come back. 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 Come Tip the weight forward. Press down into the hands. Extend the hips up and back, downward facing dog. 
softening the knees, hop, step, or float to the front of the mat. Find a fold here. Let it go. Inhale, chair pose. Sink the seat, sweep the fingertips, scoop the heart, pour the weight back. Drawing the inner thighs tightly in towards one another, knit the belly towards one another. Draw the hands through heart center. Bring the left elbow outside of the right knee, find rotation. So this is our last chair twist. Now slowly begin to pull the left foot towards the, the seat. Now slowly begin to kick that left leg back, moving into high lunge twist. Landing soft as a mouse onto the ball of that left foot. Left elbow outside of the right knee. Find a little more twist, a little more rotation. Come back up into high lunge. Sweep the hands up towards the sky. Find warrior two. Drop the back foot parallel. Arms open to T. Sink deeply into that front knee. Sink deeply. Sink deeper into that front knee. Cartwheel the hands, frame out the right foot, roll onto the ball of the back foot, coming into low lunge. So we've been in all of these poses before, we're now sewing them together. Left hand to the earth, right hand sweeps up and over towards the back of your mat. So the other rotation. Take it forward, up, and over. There we go. You see how more it opens, how much more it opens? Now pressing into that left hand, find side plank, rolling onto the ball of the outer edge of that back foot, stacking the right foot on top. Remember, roll that left elbow pit towards the front of the room. Always drop the bottom knee if you need the extra bit of support. Lift the chest up a little bit more. Lift the chest up a little bit more. Now lower all the way onto your seat, coming to face towards the back of your mat. Good. Pull the knees into the chest. Find that bow pose. Chest up. Squeezing the inner thighs. Reaching the hands forward. Now slowly begin to lower all the way onto the mat. Lower, 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 slower. Lower all the way down. Pressing the triceps against the earth, we're moving into shoulder stamp. So we're not holding it for the full amount of time. If you do not own shoulder stand, you're more than welcome to take legs at a 90. Pressing into those triceps, pressing into the elbows, the hips lift, catch the lower back. Keep the back of the neck long. Now the tighter you bring those elbows towards one another, the more stabilized you'll be. There we go, you see all of a sudden of that lift here. Make sure the gaze is to the third eye or to the toes above you. Can you lengthen the belly a little bit more? Again, legs at a 90, laying back with hands underneath the seat is a wonderful variation. Now gently remove the hands. Lower the spine back down onto the mat. Slowly, 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 slowly. Good. Pull the knees into the chest, back into boat pose. Come all the way back up. And now we're going to parallel the right shin with the front of the mat as you sweep the left leg up and back, back behind you, pigeon pose. There we go. Perfect. That was a beautiful transition. Now bend the knee as much as you need to in order to maintain a knee without pain. Everyone is on the right side. Make sure your hips are square. So look at that leg behind you. Make sure that leg behind you is directly behind your hip point and not splaying out to the left. Good, Sam. Nice adjustment. Avoid sickling into the foot. The chest can lift up if you need a little more space. The shoulders roll back. The throat maybe opens. Big breath in. Exhale, release all the way down over that right shin. For those of you who might be rehabbing a knee injury, you can always take this variation on the back and I'll show you now. You'll lay back. Now place the right ankle over the left knee. Let the back of the neck relax. And maybe even thread the hand. You can work into this variation. If the belly variation doesn't work. A 
Let the body soften onto the mat. Wanting the hips square. Finding the stretch through the outer edge of that right hip. Another deep breath in, fill the lungs. Exhale, release. With every exhalation, releasing what does not serve. Our hips are our weight bearing joint and not just physically, but emotionally. They can carry everything. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Find the hands. Walking the hands back. And now swing the left leg forward and through. Planting the left foot outside of the right knee. Moving into Ardha Matsyasana. Sweep the hands up towards the sky. Again, if both seats aren't attached to the earth, you can extend that right leg so that you are firmly planted onto the earth. Dropping the right elbow outside of the left knee, left hand behind the back, find rotation. The back of the neck is long. Other way, Rigoberto. There we go. Perfect. Got it. Spine must be long. So push down into that left hand behind you. Lift through the back of the neck. Find a little more rotation. Anchor that left foot down onto the earth. Come back through center, take the counter to the opposite side. Come back through center again. Frame out the left foot with the hands. Tip the weight forward, push down into that left foot, unravel the right leg up towards the ceiling. Float the right foot to meet the left, top of the mat. And release, forward fold. If you're off your mat, you can reposition. Inhale, come back into chair pose. Sink the seat. One last sequence, one last side. Draw the belly in. Make sure the breath is strong. Bring hands through heart center, dropping now the right elbow outside of the left knee. Make sure the hips are square. Way back into the knee. The crown is long. Now begin to pull that left foot. Come back through center. I tried to confuse you and I confused myself. Dropping the left elbow outside of the right knee. That was right the first time. Lord almighty, come back to the other way. Right elbow outside of the left knee. Sorry guys. Good, now I've got it. Pull that right foot towards your right seat. Extend the right leg back behind you, landing into that lunge. Find the twist, find the rotation. Spin the chest. Come back up through center. Sweep the hands up towards the sky. Drop the back foot parallel. Come into that warrior two. Sink deeply into that front knee. Energize up and out of that left hip point. Draw down through the right. That's perfect. Shoulders away from the ears. In through the nose. Belly in. Cartwheel the hands. Come into that low lunge. As soon as the hands are planted, Sweep that left arm up and back towards the right heel behind you. Right arm, right hand, yeah, yep, right hand. Right hand towards the heel behind you. Sweep the right hand up and back, dropping it, planting it to the earth, moving into our side plank, rolling onto the outer edge of that right foot, stack the left foot on top, reach the left hand up towards the side. Again, roll the outer inner edge of that right elbow pit towards the front of the room. Lift the hip point up a little bit more. Draw the belly in a little bit more. Can you find the engagement through the opening, the whole right side of the body? Lower onto the seat. Come all the way onto the seat. Come into boat pose. Pull the knees into the chest. Now facing in the direction in which we started. Reach the hands up towards the sky. Begin to lower, lower, lower softly back onto the mat. Lower all the way down. As soon as you're there, our second set of 
shoulders stand. Press down into the elbows beside the body. Lift the legs up. Again, you are more than welcome to lift, take legs at an angle. If you have any variations that you would like to play with, you're more than welcome to. If you have a half lotus, a full lotus, legs at a 90, hands underneath the seat, and put a micro bend into the knee. So Julianne, if you start to bring the knees a little bit closer towards the chest, there we go, you'll find that lightness. That's perfect. Raquel, if you're going for the lotus, you can start to bring one hand to the center of your back and use your second hand, as long as you're stable, to help position that foot into place. There we go, good. Wow. If you have plow or lotus plow, you're more than welcome to move into it. If you have deaf man's pose, you're more than welcome to come into it. Legs in a 90, stay right here. Still receiving the benefits without necessarily coming into the different expressions. Begin to catch the lower back yet again. And begin to lower onto the mat slowly, slowly, slowly all the way onto the earth. Slow, slow, slow. Back into boat pose. Pull the knees in tightly. Chest lifts up. Now paralleling the left shin with the front of the mat. Extend the right leg back behind you. Spin the right inner thigh up towards the sky. Hands out. To the sides, lift the chest up. And once those hips are square, begin to lower all the way down. Again, if you need it, come on to the back for the supine variation. No pain or strain through the knees. Make sure that right leg is directly behind you. Sliding that right leg back behind you. Dropping that right hip down towards the ear. Big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. Come back through center. Find the hand, sweep that right leg up and over, placing the right foot outside of the left knee. Now moving into spinal twist. So drop the right hip point down onto the earth. If you can't get it there, extend that left leg forward. So I would just because there's so much space. Yeah, there we go. Flex those left toes, sweep the hands up towards the sky. And now dropping the left elbow outside of the right knee, right hand behind the back. If the leg is extended, make sure that this works. Find a little more rotation, a little more twist. Come back up through center. Sweep the hands up towards the sky. And now rebending that left knee if you need to. Tip the weight forward, frame out the right foot. Lift the left leg up towards the ceiling, unraveling and floating that left foot to meet the right top of the mat. Let's take our last vinyasa. Inhale, look forward, flat back. Exhale, hop, step, or float. Lower, knees, chest, chin, or chapter. Slide through, upward facing. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. 
Drop the knees to child's pose, send the hips back. Come all the way up to sit. Roll onto one side of the hip, extend the legs out in front of you. We're gonna move into fish pose. So we took two sets of shoulder stand and I wanna complete it with fish pose. Uh, the breath work for fish pose is like a sniffing dog, fast in and out of the nose. Again, it helps to purge the respiratory system of inflammation uh, and things that create issues. Um, so it's gonna sound like <laughs> through fish pose. I'm gonna count down as you all move through it. Begin to lower onto the seat, the thumb and index finger. So sit back up. Thumb and index finger hook around the outer edge of the glute. Onto the earth, right there, yeah. Now elbows pull tightly behind the body, and now begin to lower onto one forearm followed by another. And then elevate the chest up towards the ceiling. Drop the head back. Good. Point the toes. So you're one long line of energy. In through the nose. Out through the nose. Now, as you can see, Gianna's belly is going to start to snap as we begin to move into the breath work. Continue the breath work. In through the nose. Fast like a sniffing dog. Holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, release all the way down. Unravel the hands. Open up the feet, mats with distance or wider. Take up as much space as you want. What's nice is being in your own house. You are afforded all of the space. Move the arms away from the side body. Let the eyes close move into rest. In through the nose. Out through the nose. Spending as much time as you need here. Again, I want the, the vision of what heaven on earth would look like to travel through the mind. Placing that intention forward so that we can bring it forward. May your day be blessed and abundant and bountiful. Thank you for joining me here today. Okay. The light in me honors and bows to the light within you. Namaste. Namaste. Mm -hmm. Spending as much time as you need. Not rushing from this space. The world will wait. It always does. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You too. Uh, hopefully, it will get sunny at some point today. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Hi. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Kaylee. Thanks, Bye, Kaylee. Bye, Kaylee. See ya. Hey, if you need help getting onto Zoom, call me because I will. Uh, I don't know why it's not working to, on my computer. You're the only. It's the only one that's not working. It's I don't okay. know why. Hey, I'm on. I'll use my phone. Oh, it worked on your phone. All right, that's good then. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I see that. Yeah, I do. I'm. I'm <laughs> I need more coffee. I need more. Holly, Sorry those pups—they just—they love you. <laughs> they love you. They're so cute. They need to be locked up. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, "Oh my gosh, you're breathing like we do." <laughs> he was licking my toes as I was on the. <laughs> oh gosh, what what are their names? This is no the yellow one is Nova.
And then that's Dilly. Nova and Billy. Are they both? Nova pit? and Dilly. Dilly, Dilly. Are they both pit bulls? Yeah, he's a pit bull Rhodesian Ridgeback. Yeah, I see. And she is a Staffordshire Terrier with an anxiety disorder. Oh. <laughs> Poor babe. Thank you, girls. Thanks, Holly. Thank it's good you. to see you. You look beautiful. Thank you. Be well. Hey, Tara. Thank you. I think she's so muted. Yeah, you're still muted. I can't hear you. I got it. Hi, Tara. Hi. Thanks so much, Kaylee. That was great. Thanks for coming. Love seeing you. You look strong. Have you been working out every day? Pretty much, with just the same old three pieces of equipment I guess <laughs> yeah, yeah um, uh, my fiance turned uh, the studio that I had originally into a gym I come home and there's weights and and barbells everywhere and I'm like what is going on we <laughs> have nothing to do but yeah. this is great this is the first time I, 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 I logged on that's so awesome that's awesome yeah well I hope I see you uh, see you more often I am gonna be here. Thanks. Bye, love. I am. Uh, I'm gonna hop off and grab some coffee. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Tara. Be well. You too. Be Thanks. safe. Be well. Healthy. Amy, I'm logging off. It's good to see you. She's on mute. You're on mute. Have the best day. <laughs>